Excel is really great for creating lists and one of the problems with creating a list is sometimes you can have duplicates in there and it's really easy to remove those duplicates in Excel. And I've got a list here which is a shopping list and you can see it's created by myself and by my wife and we've both put items in here and there are some duplicates like over here you can see there's apples here and here and I've got milk and that in there and cherry tomatoes and Excel easily removes these. So all I need to do is click anywhere inside my list here. I could highlight it if I wanted to but I'm going to let Excel do the hard work and just click here. Now you might want to highlight it if you already have some blank rows or blank columns because then it won't detect that range. Now all I've got to do is go into data and over here you'll see it's got remove duplicates. I simply click on that. It's automatically, as you can see, it's put a border around it. It's highlighted that range. On the dialog box I've got here, it's got at the top my list has headers. So it hasn't included those at the top there. If I untick it, it does include them, but we don't want to do that because they're not an item that we need to remove. So I'm just going to tick that again. I can now decide what actually makes these duplicate. And for me, I'm interested in the first two columns. If they match any of these rows, I want to remove it. So you can see it's got select all, that's already ticked. I don't need column D or column C. And clearly it wouldn't be a duplicate if it was column D included anyway. So I have column A and column B, that's the item and the quantity. If I did want all of them, I could just click on select all at the top here. But let's not do that. I'm going to untick those. I click on OK. Hey presto, it tells me there were four duplicate values found and removed and the 18 unique values remain. And you can see they're gone right here. I don't have the apples further down and I had milk in here as well and it's not there. So I can just click on OK. If I wanted that back, I could just undo. If you have saved and closed it, well, you wouldn't get an undo working there. So just be aware of that. But if you undo it sort of immediately after you've done this, it would put them back. So there you have it. That's how you can easily remove duplicates in a list in Excel. And don't you just love it when something like this is just so easy. Anyway, if you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe and come back for more. I have plenty on my channel, Jargon Free Help. Thanks for watching and stay safe.